Watch this ugly face. That's nothing. Check this out. That's nothing, man. Check this. Are you kids making ugly faces? Maybe. Well, you know, if you keep making those faces, you'll freeze that way, and you'll be stuck with a horrible face forever. Do you think Mom was telling the truth? Mom wouldn't lie. All right! Watch this scary face. Oh, yeah, that's not scary. Oh, yeah, that's not scary. Oh, yeah, that's not... Ah, scary! I call this face the Howler Monkey. I call this face Dad. All right, I told you, if you kept making those horrible faces, they'd freeze that way. And now they have. They have? Our faces are frozen? Yes, they are. Go look in the mirror and see for yourselves. Children, we have some very sad news for you. I think you'd better sit down. Sit down! Children, your elderly Uncle Hubert has passed away. Do you have any questions? Yeah. What does passed away mean? You know, kick the bucket, pull the croak chain, had a meeting with old Mr. Grimm. The fart! The dude died. Would the family care to view the loved one at this time? Oh boy, I've never seen a dead body before. I bet his skin will be all green and clammy and stuff. It'll be just like a zombie movie, only real. Ew. So slow. Steady, boys. Easy there. Whoa! Little to the left. You children are very, very naughty today. Your father and I are quite disappointed in the three of you. This is absolutely the last funeral we ever take you kids to. Look at Maggie. What a little bundle of joy. You can tell what it's thinking by its body language. I think its body language is saying, I want to play. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 wee. <coughs> I think its body language is saying, game's over. Look at it, just lying there. I wonder how we look to it. Gooba gooba gaba. You're our little sister. Gooba gaba gooba gaba. One of us, one of us. Just think, Maggie, someday if you're lucky, you'll grow up to be just like us. Do you think a little baby could possibly imagine what its future is going to be like? I wonder if it has any hopes or dreams or fantasies. <laughs> no, man, please be back you. Leave our toes alone. No tickling, no tickling. Help, help, help. Oh, come on, man. Maybe it's thinking how much it loves us. I guess we'll never know. Go for it, Bart. Go out for the long bomb. Okay, Dad. <laughs> and a boy, Bart. Catch this one and I'll buy you all chocolate milkshakes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Next time, put a little effort into it, boy. Catch this one and we all get chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> faster, faster, Bart, faster. faster. Just don't listen. Come on, Bart. 
Catch the ball so we can all go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. Yeah, Bart. Start running, boy. <gasps> go, Bart, go! Go, Bart, go! boy! Chocolate go, milkshakes, Bart, here we come! Go, Bart, go! <laughs> yeah, he caught it! When I said catch, I meant with your hands. <laughs> Well, Bart, you put in a good effort today, so we're all being rewarded. <laughs> good and slurpy. Bart, you're not touching your milkshake. Aren't you hungry? <laughs> well, if you won't drink it, I will. <laughs> One of the most difficult of all human endeavors. The House of Cards. Whew. What you doing? <coughs> really neat, Bart. A pile of cards. Take it easy. Whatever you do, don't get the jitters. One false move and you're a goner. You're too tense. Relax. You've got to learn to listen to our advice. Can we, can we go with the bad movie? One small step for a kid, one giant leap for kid kind. Bart! Wake up! Wake up! You did it! Uh, what? I'll forget it. Hey there, boy. Mom took the girls to the ballet tonight. So it's just you and me, kid. Uh, sure, Dad. So set up the TV trays and let's get started. You want the frozen fish nuggets? Or the pork a Well, it's a toss-up, Dad. I got an idea. Let's mix them together smorgasbord style. <laughs> Voila! Fish pork a a la Simpson. Uh, Dad, would it be too late for me to catch a bus to the ballet? Where'd he go? Bart! 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 Here I am. Eat. Yuck, tastes like dog food. Bart! Does eating dog food turn you into a dog? Bart! Well, that answers that question. You're not touching your fish pork nuggets aroni, boy. Whoops! Dropped my fork. Finished already? Mmm, lick the plate clean. Good, because there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> We're home. The ballet was divine. Oh, it was just a... What's that smell? Oh, look at that. Our own two husky men snuggled together on the couch. All right, Pass right. that bucket up. Fish, pork, and nuggets are only this way. Come on, man. No nuggified fish porklets. Oh, Isn't no. that sweet? I've got a great idea. Let's play Space Patrol. I'll be Lee Sui, the Devil May Care rocket pilot. Maggie can be Medina, your spunky sidekick. And you'll be... Artron, the evil robot from Mars gone berserk. Mm. I, Lee Sui, see my lovable psychic Medina in mortal danger of being liquidated by the horrible robot from Mars. Mm. Perhaps next time you will resist your evil ways, Bartron. Mm. Calm myself, Bartron, and tell us where the magic space crystals that can save the galaxy are hidden. Speak American, Bartron. We Earthlings understand not the Martian tongue. <coughs> Magina has rendered Bartron's anti-gravity belt non-functional. Hail, Magina! Do I understand you correctly, Bartron? 
Do you wish me to release you from the helmet of evil thoughts with my enchanted space wand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do it, Bartron. But who knows what mysterious forces will be unleashed. Oh, no. Inside the evil Bartron is a horrible mutant boy. Wow, wow. We'll be safe here till Mom and Dad, the evil overlords, get home. How come you're always wearing that hat? Fashion statement, Dad. Take off the hat, boy. Look, he's a beatnik. <gasps> you go get a haircut. Right now. I was afraid this moment would come. Well, what'll it be, Sonny? Just a little off the top, sir. Ah, uh, sure thing. There you go. What do you think? What the hell did you do to my head? Oh, well, that'll be five dollars, please. And here's a sucker. <laughs> Isn't that boy back from the barber yet? I heard him sneaking around in his bedroom. Bart! Front and center! I'll take it off, but you all gotta promise you won't laugh, okay? Promise? We, we promise! promise. <gasps> <laughs> Wake up, everybody! It's World War Three. <laughs> Quick, down to the fallout shelter! The bombs are dropping! Eighteen seconds. Hmm. If this were really a nuclear war, we'd all be dead meat by now. Say, we're all shivering. Are you cold or what? Wake up, wake up! It's World War Three. I mean it this time! No kidding around! Here we are. Hmm. Once again, your timing's off. Yeesh. What a bunch of grunts. Wake up, wake up. It's the end of the world. Aw, oh, come on, man. I'm timing you. If we're all fast enough, this will be our last nuclear war drill. If we're quick enough, you'll let us sleep. Let's go, go, go. All right, everybody, back upstairs and into bed. Did we beat the clock? <laughs> no, but you were pretty darn close. Next drill in three hours. Wake up, Dad. It's World War Three. This is going to test. Yeah! Are you sure this is okay, Mom? We'll let him out in the morning. Fresh chocolate chip cookies. Oh, don't touch those yet. They're very, very hot. Aha. No one's around. The perfect crime. I hope I can trust you two not to eat those yummy chocolate chip cookies. Go on, Maggie. Take a cookie. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't be a chicken. Well, if you won't commit the perfect crime, I will. Oh, very good, Maggie. You prevented Bart from making a mess. I mean it. Don't even think about touching those scrumptious cookies. Who's she gonna believe, huh? You or me? You can't defend yourself. You can't even talk. I'll blame it all on you. The perfect crime. Bart! It was home now, I swear it! Oh, Bart. Do I smell cookies? <gasps> Where's the cookies? They're all gone, the whole batch. Somebody ate those cookies. Did you eat the cookies, Maggie? I think she's trying to tell us something. Go on, Maggie. Go on, Maggie, go, go. 
there's no perfect crime. Uh... Want to hear a scary story? Once upon a time, there was an evil, insane maniac. Bart, why can't you tell the story with the lights on? Okay, you little babies. I can't find the light switch. It's gone! Everybody comfy? Once upon a time. There was a psychopathic strangler on the loose in a dark house. They couldn't see him, but they could hear his breathing. It was dark. All was silent. And then they heard it. The sound of the crafty vampire sucking blood from the neck of his latest victim. Listen. <laughs> and now for the scariest story of all. Once upon a time, three little children sat shivering in the dark. Suddenly, they heard footsteps. Listen, you can almost hear them coming closer and closer and then the footsteps stopped he's your grandpa now get in there and talk to him gather around kids and i'll tell you about the good old days oh man you know when i was your age i had to walk 20 miles just to get to school and back then, we didn't have pacifiers. We had to suck on pieces of wood. And in my day, we didn't have TV sets. We used to sit on a grandpa's lap all evening and listen politely to his entertaining stories. Was your grandpa a liar, too? No, but his lap was awful slippery. Once upon a time, there was a happy little elf. Can't something bad happen to the elf? The happy little elf hummed a happy little tune. Aw, oh, come on, man. But suddenly, the happy little elf stopped. Why'd the happy little elf stop? Because he realized he was actually a clumsy little elf. Come on, Gramps, tell us a scary story. You want it scary, eh? That's right, old timer. This is a story of a very... <gasps> you killed Grandpa. No way, man. Society killed Grandpa. Face it, Bart. You're doomed. Uh-oh. Which do you prefer, Bart? The gas chamber? Or the electric chair. <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. Hallelujah! He's alive! That's what I like to see. Everybody having a good time. Bart? Taste that trout already. Where are we? And the chatter, boy, and get the boat in the water. <laughs> Whoa, I'm adrift! I'm adrift! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Boy, for a second there, I thought I was up a creek without a paddle. Dad? Dad? Fetch me a bologna sandwich there, boy. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you forgot to bring the bologna sandwiches. I want my bologna sandwich now. Here you go, sir. What are you staring at? Go on, have a sandwich yourself. I'm not hungry. Mmm, good. Whew. I could have sworn we brought more worms. Hey! What? Rapids! Mm. Now, don't panic. Just keep calm, and we'll zip right through them. Oh, no! Oh, 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 help! Uh, uh. That was mildly enjoyable, sir. Sing that little ditty you were singing before, boy. It calms my nerves. Roll, roll, roll your That's boat the tool. gently down the stream. Merrily, ah, yes. merrily, merrily, merrily. Yeah! Life is but a dream. What you doing, Bart? 
skateboarding. Can we come? No way, man. Skateboarding's men's work. Then why are you doing it? Because I am a man, man. Cowabunga! Ah, the breeze, the solitude, the wind whistling through your hair. Go, man, go! Huh? Watch this. Here goes the daredevil skateboard champion of the universe. So long, suckers! Hi, Bart. Bye, Bart. Okay, ready? Get set? Hey, look over there! Go! <laughs> You better behave in church today. I don't see why I have to go anyway. I'm a pagan. Bart! I don't want to go to church either. I'm a pagan too. Well, you're going to church so you can like it or lump it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dad, a tire just blew. Thank, Thank you, you nature. nature. What a beautiful paganistic day. Come on, Maggie, let's dance. Grab that tire iron, boy. We pagans would like to help you, Homer, but it's against our belief to soil our hands with greasy tools of sin. Lisa, Maggie, knock that nonsense off. It's too late, Dad. What the hell are you talking about? Pagan rain dance works every time. Mom, Dad, look! We're pagans! Why, those little... <laughs> Ironically enough, Bart, this house of worship has proven to be our sanctuary. Yes, but still my pagan soul yearns to roam free. No problem. After the sermon, we'll make a run for it. Bart! Bart! Uh-oh. Chores. The toy chest. The closet. Safe at last. Oh no, it's locked. I'm trapped in here, trapped like a rat. Help! Help! Bart! Uh-oh. Dad will hear me. Help! Help! I've got to get out of this closet. Maggie! Maggie! In here! In the closet! Maggie! Go! Get! Help! Maggie! Come on, man! Do what I'd do if I were in your place! I can't take it anymore. I've got to get out of this closet. I give up. I'll do chores. Huh? Dear Bart, the family has gone out for frosty chocolate milkshakes. Sorry we couldn't find you. Love, Dad. Bye, kids, and I'll explain everything you need to know about the briny deep. I want to see a giant squid attack a sperm whale and battle to the death. I want to swim free with the fishes. I brought my lucky red swim trunk. All right, can the chatter and listen up. Here we have the hideous moray eel. And over here we have the tasty but repulsive sea bass. Yuck! What the hell is that? Bark! Come on in. The water's fine. Boy, you come out of that tank right now. Do Tricks, Bart. Oh! Stop that. It only encourages him. Ah! Dad, you gotta see this! <gasps> Bart should be coming up for air any minute now. Look, I see something! Lucky red swim trunks. Well, the trunks were lucky, even if Bart wasn't. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Bart, come over here. I'd like to accommodate you, Homer, but I'm afraid it's safer in here. Come on, everybody. Time for the family portrait. Let's bunch together now. Here we go. Move it! Perfecto. Everybody smile. I'm going to set the automatic timer. Almost ready. Here we go. Let's get this show on the road, man. We got things to do. Yeah, Dad. Okay, here we go. Make room for Jumbo. What do you say? Nothing. All right, everybody. Squeeze in real tight. I want to get us all in the picture this time. Closer. Closer! Okay, hold still.
This is the last picture on the roll. Praise the Lord. You watch your mouth, you little smartass. Yeah, Bart. Nothing's going to ruin this one. The timer's a ticking. Bart's making faces, Dad. Bart! This one is going to be the Simpsons at our finest. Smile. Look cheerful. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Why, you little... Look, Nurse Maggie, a new patient. Oh, I got the hiccups and I got them bad. Oh. Nurse Maggie, begin preparation of the secret hiccup elixir. Milk, ice cream, maple syrup, cream of broccoli, hot sauce. No way, man. <laughs> I knew it. Not enough hot sauce. Climb into the treatment apparatus, please. Confidentially, Nurse Maggie, this treatment has occasional side effects. Oh, oh, oh. But the oh, side effects are somewhat entertaining, oh, are they not, Nurse oh, Maggie? Oh. I'm stumped, Nurse Maggie. Oh. This is the worst case of hiccups we've oh. ever treated. Oh. Oh. That's it! A combination oh. of our previous techniques followed oh. by the scare treatment. It can't uh. miss. <laughs> oh! Oh. I pronounce this patient cured. Hey, Mom, can we have an advance on our allowances? No, you can't. Oh, uh, come on, Mom. We're dead broke. I said no. Now, while I'm out shopping, don't get any funny ideas about filching cash from the money jar in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, the money jar. Promise me you'll be honest. I promise. I hereby solemnly swear. Okay, bye. Be good. I wonder if this is wrong. Go on, Lisa. Get the money. Remember your promise, Lisa. For it, dude. Get the moolah. That's right, Bart. Steal the bread, man. What? That's it, a measly buck? Can't even trust your own mother. I wanted to introduce you kids to the world of art. It's so enriching. I have an announcement to make. I'm bored. Well, maybe we're all bored, Bart, but we're going to cooperate anyway. Yeah, Bart. Oh, brother. Now, over here, I can rumble. Bart! Whoa! Mama! Bart! Whoa! Now, that's what I call the enriching world of art. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Try for a little dignified behavior. This is the art museum. She's right, you little slob. Now, here we have some exquisite... Lisa! <gasps> <gasps> Well, that was close. When do we go home and watch TV? Bart? Careful, Dad. This thing's priceless. The last time I take you kids to the art museum. Don't have a cow, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Why, you little... Now, calm down, Homer. The kids just mm. aren't mature enough yet to appreciate fine art. Au contraire, Mom. We find the world of art quite enriching. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of becoming a collector. This way to the monkey house, everybody. Can I have a peanut, Dad? Shut up and pay attention. Oh, yes, it was a measly peanut. Don't sass your father, Bart. Yeah, Bart. Now, over here, we have the typical monkey family. Just look at their stupid antics. <laughs> hey, man, I know just how you feel. Here, monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> Dad, don't tease the monkeys. Ah, I'm just funning with them. Hey, monkeys, want some peanuts? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> they don't like it, Dad. She's right, Homer. Ah, oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right on, dudes. That's the last time I ever take you kids to the zoo. Calm oh, down, Homer. I've had it with those vile monkeys. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah! Where's Bart? I love you guys, but really, I'm stuffed. Thanks anyway. I couldn't eat another. Ooh.